good morning children here there is a lesson for you it's a one of the comic lesson written by mr r k narayan the famous writer in india he wrote many stories and this is one of the story from the swami's adventures swami's adventures were the um uh, topics taken by rk narayan to write the stories and here we get one of the adventure or one of the story about swami a small boy from rk narayan story so let's read the uh, paragraphs the first paragraph swami nathan sat in his father's room in a chair with a slate in his hand and pencil re- ready father held the arithmetic book open and dictated Rama has 10 mangoes with which he wants to earn 15 annas. Krishna wants only 4 mangoes. How much with Krishna how much will Krishna have to pay? So here the Swami or uh, Swami Nathan the boy is sitting in his father's room in a chair. He is holding a slate in his hand and pencil. and father is holding an arithmetic book like mathematics book and is dictating the sum to the boy rama has 10 mangoes with which he want to earn 15 annas means there is a boy called rama and he has 10 mangoes and he wants to earn 15 annas anna means rupees so how much krishna has to pay for four mangoes because krishna wants only four mangoes and how much krishna have to pay So this is the sum given by the father. Now, second paragraph. Swami Nathan gazed at this sum, and every time he read it, it seemed to acquire a new meaning. He had the feeling of having stepped into fearful maze. So Swami Nathan is feeling very wondering at this sum. Gazed and gazed means looking continuously at the sum. and all the time he got a different meaning from the sum he is not able to understand what is the really so the sum is about he had the feeling of having stepped into a fearful maze means since he could not understand the sum he is feeling very difficult to find out the solution so he is feeling very difficult to manage with the sum now the third paragraph his mouth began to water at the thought of mangoes he wondered what made rama fix 15 annas for 10 mangoes what kind of man a man was rama probably he was like shankar somehow one could not help feeling that he must have been like shankar with 10 mangoes and his iron determination to get 15 annas if rama was like shankar krishna must have been like the p here swaminathan felt an unaccountable sympathy for krishna so here the father has given the sum regarding some mangoes and the swami nathan is feeling very very um, angry about like he is feeling the water in his mouth as soon as he thought of mangoes he liked the mangoes a lot and when the father gave the sum related to the mango fruit he felt his mouth watering like and he is feeling wondered also why he wondered to think that what made rama fix 15 annas for 10 mangoes because 10 mang- mangoes will not get 15 annas it must be very low but why he is fixing 15 annas for 10 mangoes the rama must be very greedy probably he was like shankar Shankar was his friend, and he is comparing the boy Rama to his friend Shankar, who is greedy, who is very, ah, uh, very much desiring to earn money. Somehow, one could not help feeling that he must have been like Shankar with his ten mangoes and his iron determination to get fifteen annas. So he is feeling very difficult to imagine that ten mangoes and fifteen annas. How ten mangoes will get fifteen annas? It's very very high. The price is. If Rama was like Shankar, Krishna must have been like the P. Even P is one of his friend. So one of the innocent boy P is, and the Shankar, the Swami Nathan is feeling that Rama was like Shankar, very greedy, and Krishna is like the P, like very innocent. Here, here, 
Swaminathan felt an unaccountable sympathy for Krishna. So now the Swaminathan feeling very sorry for the Krishna means very innocent boy. Now the father is speaking. Have you done the sum? Father asked, looking over the newspaper he was reading. Have you finished your sum? Father asked. Father, will you tell me if the mangoes were ripe? So now he is asking his father. Father, will you tell me if the mangoes were ripe? Ripe means completely mature fruits. Whether they were completely yellowish and sweet or still they were raw. So, father regarded uh, him for a while and something a, sm something a smile remarked. When has, uh, father heard his question, he was surprised a bit and a smile came on his face. Do the sum first. I'll tell you whether the fruits were ripe or not afterwards. So, father is telling what he is telling. First you do the sum. Later on, I'll tell you whether the fruits were ripen or unripen. Swaminathan felt utterly helpless. If only father would tell him whether Rama was trying to sell ripe fruits or unripe ones, of what avail would it be to tell him afterwards? So he is feeling very uh, uh, disturbed or very disappointed because he wanted his father to tell whether the fruits were ripen or unripen. Only then he could have fixed the price for the fruits but father said that he will tell later and Rama is thinking what is the use of telling it later now the next paragraph he felt strongly that the answer to this question contained the key to the whole problem it would be scandalous to expect 15 annas for 10 unripe mangoes but even if he did it would not be like uh, would not be unlike Rama, whom Swaminathan was steadily beginning to hate and invest with the darkest qualities. So now, he felt strongly uh, that the answer to this question contained the key to the whole problem. So he wanted his father to tell the answer, whether the fruits were ripen or unripen, because he wanted to decide whether the 15 annas were correct or not. So, he thought that if the boy wanted to sell the fruits for 15 annas, it will be very disliking one, very offense because it's too high for the unripened mangoes. 15 annas are too high, he thought. But his father did not give the answer for the question. But even if he did, it would not be like unlike Rama, whom Swaminathan was steadily beginning to hate. So, as soon as he came to know that the boy wanted the unripened mangoes for high co high price, he started hating that boy. Father, I cannot do the sum, Swaminathan said, pushing away the slate. Now, he is feeling very difficult to manage the question. He cannot answer unless his papa tells whether the fruits were ripened or unripened. So, what he is telling? Father, I cannot do the sum. So, he said, Father, I cannot do the sum. And he pushed away the slate. What is the matter with you? You can't solve a simple problem in simple proportion. So, Father is angry to hear that he cannot do the sum. He is questioning him. What is the matter with you? You can't solve a simple problem in simple proportion. What is happening to you? What's the What is wrong with you? Everything is correct. Very simple problem it is. And you cannot solve it. What is your problem? What is wrong with you? <coughs> We are not taught this kind of thing in our school. Father, we don't know how to solve this because it's not taught in our school. Get the slate here. I will make you to give the answer now. Swaminathan waited with uh, interest for the miracle to happen. Father studied the sum for a second and asked, What is the price of 10 mangoes? Now, father got very angry because it's a simple question and he was not able to answer. He's telling that it's too difficult to answer. So, he asked the son to get the slate him to him. So, I'll make you give the answer now. So, Swaminathan waited with interest for the miracles to happen. Swaminathan gave the slate to his father and waited for the answer. Father studied the sum for a second and asked, What is the price of 10 mangoes? Now he is trying to recover the question from his son only and he is asking what is the price of 10 mangoes. 
Swaminathan looked over the sum to find out which part of sum contained an answer to this question. I don't know. So, Swaminathan is not at all a very hard working boy. So, he is feeling difficulty to find out the question, the particular that part what father asked. So, finally, he could not find out where is that uh, answer and he said, I don't know. Father is so angry now. You seem to be an extraordinary idiot. Now read the sum. Come on, how much does Rama expect for 10 mangoes? So Papa is very angry and is scolding his son saying that he is an extraordinary idiot. Not only idiot, extraordinary idiot. Now read the sum. Come on, how much does Rama expect for 10 mangoes? So he is asking his son, tell me how much money Rama expects? for 10 mangoes 15 annas of course Swaminathan thought but how could that be its price just price it's very well for Rama to expect it in his avarice 